It happened. I'm finally monetized here on YouTube. And in fact, this is the first video I am making after being monetized. And another fact, most of you, like 70%, will click away in the next 10 seconds of this video. And you know what? I don't care anymore. By the way, this car helped my channel to get monetized and more on that in just a bit. Since I started making YouTube videos a little over a year ago, my biggest dream was to get monetized so I can start making money doing something I love. And believe it or not, but I kind of regret it now. No, I don't regret that I finally got monetized, obviously, after putting so much work, living in my van for a year, trying to come up with a yet another idea for my next YouTube video so I can get closer to those desired 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. And now I am finally here. I got monetized, but why it doesn't feel like a huge win? And in this video, we're going to be talking exactly about that. Also, what you should focus on as a small creator in order to get monetized here on YouTube, just like I wanted since I started uploading YouTube videos. And also, by the end of the video, I will give you three essential tips on how to approach this YouTube game so you don't end up unhappy and almost depressed like I did. I love classic BMWs from 90s and early 2000s. Good old V8. In the very beginning, I was actually really into it. I was so excited to start this journey on YouTube. At the same time, I was in a lot of pain. I was in a very dark mental space because I got out of the relationship and it ended pretty bad. So I started a new life. I got into real estate, I remember, something new I started. And then in a couple of months after that, I moved into my van. I found this cool old vintage van. I decided to travel around the country, mostly West Coast. I went to some states in the middle of the country as well. But I was just enjoying the process and I was filming and documenting everything I was going through, not just what I was seeing around me, but also as a person recovering from this relationship ending and then just becoming a new person that was sharing a lot of personal stuff, a lot of vulnerable stuff, which I don't know how I did in the very beginning, but somehow I did. And then I remember by the video number eight or nine, I became so obsessed with numbers. My obsession, instead of actually enjoying the process of making videos, my obsession became the numbers. I wanted to get monetized. So all I cared at that point was the views and that's where it started. I love this car. This car actually helped me to get monetized here on YouTube. The latest four videos that I made on YouTube was with this car and it got some decent amount of views for the side of the channel that I have. And I finally hit those desired 4,000 watch hours with this car. Old cars have a character that new cars would never have. And yes, they need a lot of attention at the same time. Lots of love, lots of care, and just looking over them, to be honest. Just like a YouTube channel, right? Instead of doing that and actually improving my videos, I started caring about what people would think. I started overthinking everything. I had a, such a huge, terrible analysis paralysis that I became numb and I stopped uploading for like almost four months because I was so obsessed with numbers and I would come up with ideas for the next video. And then I would never even post the videos that I made because I thought they wouldn't get any views. And since the numbers are all I care about, I didn't post for four months. I was so afraid and terrified that I would never really mention my YouTube video on like Instagram or even in person. I was so afraid that people would never watch my silly videos and even if they did, they would judge me and that would be embarrassing. All I was thinking about was the day I would get monetized and then I can go and ask people to watch my videos because uh, I'm monetized. I'm worth something. My self-worth literally was dependent on the success of my YouTube channel, which was so stupid. And then that day came. Yes, I didn't post for four months. I was so terrified and then despite the fact that i didn't post for four months i decided to overcome this fear and just do it again and then finally that day came i got monetized and i received this from google 
I had this mail from Google now for almost two weeks and I never even opened it. To be honest, when I hit the monetization mark, it paralyzed me. I'm like, okay, now I, I am here, but what do I do? next. So I, I fell down after I got monetized. My goal, my dream, my obsession finally became true, but I felt so empty the moment I got monetized. And after hitting the monetization mark, I took some time off the YouTube and I meditated and prayed on it. The mistake I made in my YouTube journey by video number nine or so was that I shift my focus from enjoying the process and improving myself and my videos to hitting the monetization mark. And now since I am here, I didn't know where to go anymore because the target I was hitting was finally hit. And for us as human beings, we always need a new mission, new purpose. And as I mentioned, after meditating and praying for a few weeks now, God finally spoken to me. And now I have a clear idea of what I want to do within my YouTube journey. And I'll be sharing that in the upcoming videos. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out where my channel is going to go from here. And with that being said, here are the three essential tips that I want you to take and learn from my experience here on YouTube as a small creator. Number one, focus on the process, not the outcome. Create videos like nobody's watching because no one is in the very beginning. And this is your chance. This is your best time to improve yourself as a small creator and create a better video. If you become obsessed, just like I was in the very beginning on videos and how implement cool ideas into the videos, how to become a better articulated creator in front of the camera and how just to overall generally improve your videos from every little standpoint, just like my old car loves the attention you all of your videos need some kind of attention and little tweaks to make it better because every video can be improved just like us human beings need to improve every day we live on this earth secondly don't focus on numbers like views focus on providing value for a viewer if you think about it, all of us come to youtube to get something out of it whether it's some kind of entertainment or doi project diy do it yourself there you go <laughs> <laughs> or just learn something new and cool. So focus on that. And here's what I'm gonna say. If you are doing something cool, like I was doing van life, there's not a lot of people have opportunity to live on the road full time. And I did, and I had no right not to share my experience with the whole world when we have this cool thing called internet. So for me, when I started a YouTube channel, that was the type of outlet I could provide at a time. I was traveling around in my van having this carefree life. And that was the value that people could get because people are busy with their own lives and most of us don't have the ability to be in the van full time and maybe not a lot of people even want to be doing the van life but they at least want to see what it's like and experience this journey from the comfort of their home that's just my example of the value that i could provide at the time whatever you do in life whatever you want to talk about it there is a value for someone out in the world and all you have to do is just focus on that viewer on those people who will get the benefit of watching your videos. And the third essential tip is build a genuine connection with your audience. Build a community. Older I'm getting, more I'm realizing how hard it is getting to make friends. As a kid, that was such an easy thing to do. You just play in the playground with a bunch of kids and you made a bunch of friends. But now, older I'm getting, moving around, you know, career takes you places, you create families, you have kids, and your friends are just fading away because they have their own life. They have their own business world they live in and making these videos on YouTube talking about something that I personally love actually finds the way to connect me with people that also into the same things and this is how you make friends you just find common ground and that is the way to connect with others and I can't wait for the day that I actually make friends with people that watch my videos because I know if they've been watching my videos for a while they're gonna be into similar stuff similar or interest, they probably gonna have similar worldview. And isn't that how you become friends since you do have commonalities? So go out there, create your silly videos, focus on the process, improve yourself. And in the beginning, you're gonna suck. But over time, you're gonna look back and you're probably gonna be proud of yourself. And if you wanna learn five essential tips for starting the van life, watch this video here.